How's it going friends? Marcus and I have just arrived to our meeting location with our good friend Bo Beatty. We're waiting on him right now. Um, he's coming from Idaho Falls. We're meeting here at this gas station and then we're going ice fishing for three days. So we're gonna do the best we can to catch us a big old fish or two. Hopefully a lot. Five a day, man. Five a day. 15 a day total. Yeah. So, and we'll be cooking those too. Per Hell usual. Yeah, we are. Heck yeah. I don't know where we're gonna camp. I don't know where we're gonna camp either. <laughs> I started Googling how to build a snow a snow cave. Yeah, that's what I, we were talking about. Like, we should make a YouTube video on how to build a snow cave. Yeah. We'll watch a YouTube video on how to do it, and then we'll do, make our own YouTube video. <laughs> it's gonna be the hardest thing I've ever had to do in the winter so far, is trying to find a camp. <laughs> I think we should just sit up on the ice. <laughs> Dig down. Dig down, step on the ice. And then let's let's go try and do that. All right, we'll see what happens, I guess. <laughs> We're kind of lost. This is uh, super realistic, I'm sure, to how a lot of you guys do your things. You say, hey, let's go, we'll meet at a location, then we'll figure it out from there. Which is exactly what we did here to find that our access point has not been plowed. And as you can see around me, there's about I don't know, seven foot snow drifts, eight foot snow drifts. What is this? It's like somebody's house. <laughs> this is somebody's house. This looks like a great camping spot. <laughs> <laughs> and we stopped about eight or nine times <laughs> trying to find a spot to camp <sighs> or just to access the lakes that we've been looking at here. So the snow is way more accumulated than I ever anticipated. So I knew it was pretty bad, but I checked the snow report and they said it's uh, beating some records all the way back to the 1940s for snow pack. So it's really hard to find a spot. Luckily we did. We found basically two spots, plan A and plan B. And so we're just making the best of it. Yeah. There's fine. Oh yeah. Hit the truck. Take him. <laughs> you have to be filming on that one. Brand new. Right now, we're looking at bighorn sheep. A few minutes ago, we had an anticipation, anticipation of going ice fishing. <laughs> we have yet to ice fish. We've been uh, sidelined by these beautiful looking sheep up here. There's a huge ram right there, it's incredible. Check out the old beanos. It's really hard to see through glasses. Man, look at that guy. Man, he's just really just kicking around up there. I mean, he's, he's got some sharp ends there. He's a pretty nice ram too. Yeah. I feel like he has bigger bases than some of these other rams. We should probably go to the pull off and then there's a pretty easy walk. I mean, I, I think it'll be All right, we're you gonna require it. snowshoes and touring gear. So, yeah, yeah, this is hardcore ice fishing, people. It took us almost three hours to find a camping spot. We finally found one. Then we got distracted by sheep and now we are going ice fishing, which requires touring gear and snowshoes so it's gonna be an adventure but it's gonna be a good time how, how many times have you toured into a fishing spot once <laughs> this is the second time yeah we may, we finally got to where we can see the water so that's good well we could see it earlier but stuff's falling out of the sled we'll see how this goes we got to switch back down i'm gonna try to switch back down and go Get to the water that way. It's really steep right below, and the sleds wanted to tip over. Probably because we didn't pack it very well. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> so success. Great success. Great success. 
car. <laughs> Got snow in my pants. I was really proud of myself until I got to this little cornice and then I fell. There's nothing that could go wrong here. Like here literally go. nothing. Woo! You Give want me a push. <laughs> you can go, hey! The steer throw it took right of the tree. Woo! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Such success! I'll be here all week! <laughs> Great success! Yeah. <laughs> We're on the way, guys! <laughs> haven't even fallen through yet. later <laughs> <laughs> Happy with that thickness? It makes me feel safe. Dude, this auger's not big enough for the fish I'm gonna pull out of this thing. How's the day been going, Bo? It's been a good day. We've had lots of adventures so far. Oh, he's there biting it again. Oh, dude. Dude, he's just, he's not hitting hard enough. Easy. I saw that. See what I mean? He comes in. Yeah. Like, like a little chihuahua. He's chihuahua biting. Oh, That's <laughs> you reeled it in too fast, dude. You're supposed Sorry. to. You're supposed to wait for the camera. <laughs> it was just coming up so fast I couldn't help. Just a little tiny brown. You guys want to eat it? Nah, toss That's her back. It's pretty little. Maybe toss that one. Sorry guys. All my I trout fish too, guys. With a with a no, oh, I'm just gonna shut up now. <laughs> he got back in there good. We're having fun. Here we go. Let's get another one. <laughs> Is it a better fish? I don't think so. Little guy? Ooh, it's a little better. Eater? I mean, the way things are going, maybe. <laughs> what do you think, Bo? That's your call, man. I'm letting it go, man. You're gonna let it go? Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Fish number two, nice little rainbow. Going back in the hole. So Marcus was saying, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like somebody's gonna catch one in the next 10 minutes. And right as he said that, I felt a little tug. I was like, huh, that feels a little heavier than my, my weight on here. Uh, and just kind of blindly set the hook like a joke almost. And there's fish on it. So <laughs> fish number two, small ones, but we're catching them. <laughs> oh baby. They're barely biting. <laughs> On the board. On Over the, the board. Easy, Mr. Fish. Thank you, Mr. Fish. That feels good. A millworm trick. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> that's a big fish! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. Yeah, baby! Awesome. <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> Smack that thing on the head, dude. <laughs> almost... Oh, man! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, dude! Nice job, Bo. Holy cow. Look at that guy. Beautiful rainbow. All right, Mr. Rainbow. 
Look how dark he is. Yeah. Yeah, that was exciting. He almost went back in the hole. He broke the line right at the top. <laughs> oh, man, that's going to taste great, huh? Heck yeah, it is. All right, let's get this guy killed and ready for eating. Nice All right, I better catch a fish. The bite is on. The bite is on. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. That's good. That's, good. That's an eater. Good enough, dude. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Another rainbow. Tell you what, guys. If you haven't started ice fishing, I'd start. This is a riot. <laughs> this is so much fun. Heck yeah. Well, we caught four keeper fish. It was a great day for the little bit of fishing that we did. We had some great adventures. Now we're going to go back to camp and cook up uh, elk milanesa, the recipe I learned in Argentina. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and we're going to have a great rest of the evening. What you cooking tonight? All right, so we're going to have uh, Milanesa. It is basically, we're taking some rump roast off of an elk and we're gonna slice it. And then we're going to put it in a little bit of a, um, a marinade and then bread it and fry it in vegetable oil, just like they do in Argentina. Riceroni. No one's down there fishing. <laughs> it's gotta be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> No one's out fishing on a Monday in the middle of freaking March because they gotta work. We are just playing hooky. What's the verdict? That's delicious. It almost tastes like um steak parmesan like almost like <laughs> really i don't know like chicken parmesan like some breaded like meat it's really good we we're sitting in our wonderful wall tent camp that Bo brought for us it's awesome camp awesome food awesome people and pretty dang good fishing and i think we're gonna catch a bunch more fish tomorrow hopefully it's been pretty yeah. good we're trying to catch enough to smoke we're really excited to have some uh, trail snacks so we caught four keepers today, uh, three really good sized ones. One almost got away. <laughs> it was really, he got up right to the top of the hole, boom, we broke off and we saved, saved it. So hoping to get some more tomorrow. It's a beautiful day. One of the most beautiful nights I've seen all winter. So it's pretty amazing. Special opportunity to be up here. Grateful for it.